Welcome everyone, Mark with Diesel Laptops here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to perform an after treatment regeneration. Side note, I have already registered my jaw test kit, activated expert mode, and the vehicle is properly connected to the communication box. Let's open up our desktop launcher by double clicking on the icon, and then open up the jaw test software by double clicking on it. Once jaw test is loaded, we're going to click on the connector that we used to connect our communication box to the vehicle, and then we're going to select which type of system scan we would like to do, and click proceed. When your list of available modules appears and the system scan has completed, you'll have to locate the module that will allow the regeneration command. For example, if I click on the Detroit Diesel and then click Connect at the top, and then I go into the Maintenance section, I see a section for the particulate filter regeneration, but when I click on it to launch it, it tells me that it is unavailable and I have to pick it up in the Common Powertrain Controller. So I'm going to disconnect from this system by clicking the orange box here at the top right, and then I'm going to go down and find my common powertrain controller. Just be aware that it could be in different modules. So I'm going to go into that one and click connect. When I come down over to my maintenance section, now I see an two different types of regenerations here. I have a particulate filter regen, and then I have a particulate filter regen at a low temperature. So select that one that you're going to be doing. Click on this one for now. I'm going to have to enter in my expert mode. So I'm going to click in that and then enter in my expert mode and activate expert mode. The next window will open with special instructions about the regen process. Please read over this information carefully and make sure that all the safety measures and interlock operation values are properly met. Also make sure that there are no active fault codes present that would interfere with the regeneration. It is also good practice to launch a regen while the vehicle is at normal operating temperatures. We can click the check mark on the right hand side once all this is met. Now we're going to be prompted to make sure that our initial conditions are set and that these following interlocks are met. These need to be done or else it will not launch the regen. As these are completed, your bell here is going to turn to a green check mark. You have to have both green check marks in this case in order to launch this. Since this is a demo, I can go ahead and click the check mark to continue. So once it starts, we have all of our listed out parameters here, everything that's associated with this after treatment system. We can search in this live data list for a specific value, and it tells us that this is going to last 40 to 60 minutes. Now, some manufacturers don't notify you when this is over with. It's just going to look like it's keep on running. You're going to have to watch for the engine RPMs to return back to idle and cool down. And you can also watch your soot content level fall, and when it gets to the specified level that it should be after your regeneration, you know it's completed. While the regeneration is running, you can view it in the graph by clicking the graph icon here on the right. Here we have all of our data being displayed, our numerical values here, and then you can sift through your parameter list and kind of simple out, simplify this out for the parameters that you're looking for. You can stop it and pause it if you need to review something for a moment, then just hit the play button to continue. You can zoom in and zoom out. You have your timestamp and then your parameter readings here with your temperatures. We'll click the arrow on the back right to exit out of there. You can view this in a dashboard view. So there's this gauge cluster on the right hand side. This is the way I like to look at the data. We have our live data here incorporated and then just a nice pictorial view of the after treatment system. We can hit the back arrow to exit out. Cancel the regen. Just click the X at the top right here. The software will notify you that the process has finished and then you can click the check mark at the right hand of the screen to continue on. You'll be prompted to choose whether you want to view your graph and analyze the results. If you click yes, you will be brought to the graph view review, and if you click no, you will return to the main menu. After reviewing the graph data, click the check mark and exit back to the main screens here. Thank you for viewing, and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our tech support department at 888-983-1975, option 2. Thank you.